there but, there was some some pretty big news this week. Um, Black yeah, Jay Z is going to be great in comics, huh? Personally, yeah, yeah, he saved CGC is basically what it was, right? So, in in my opinion, yeah, Blackstone Group may have saved CGC. Um, or did we see a little bit of a decline in CGC because they knew this was happening? They knew that there were big changes coming. Um, I, it's hard to say right now, but I think this can only help them as they were about to lose the, the death grip that they had on the grading industry because CBCS is like they, they were gaining momentum. I mean, you look at a bunch of diehard CGC graders they were they were moving over to CBCS, you know, quick turnaround times. You get your books to, to market faster. Um, so yeah, but I you think lose twenty percent on that market too, as of now. But isn't that changing a little bit too? I don't know, man. I don't know. I'll be honest. Uh, the other night, I, I was somebody showed me um, uh, the Mister Mobius. Uh, Fantastic Four book and a CGC 9.8 compared to CBCS 9.8. And it's literally like 50% or more value on some of those sales, um, which is crazy. Now, some of the higher books. Yeah. Yeah. Some of the, some of the higher books, like you, you, you don't, I don't think there's that big of a gap, but some of those books, there is a large gap. And the question is, do you flip them fast enough just to get them out the door or do you are you willing to wait those long times for that CGC label? Yeah, I agree with that 100. percent Well, um, what that, are you that doing, also Andy? comes to you know if you want to flip them to get out the door, you gotta be you gotta be willing to pay for that upper tier. There's a lot of times people are like, "Hey, I'm just doing regular grading or not fast pass or anything like that," but then they sit there yeah. and they're like, "Turnaround times suck." Which yeah, they do suck, but you know if you're that urgent to to get them to market. You know, if you're not doing on-site grading, then yeah, you kind of want to do the expedited tier. Now, I also stand the frustration if you pay for the expedited tier and they're not meeting those business rules that they put out of, hey, you pay this tier, you get two, three-day turnaround or whatever it may be, and they're not they're not following that, then yes, definitely. Uh, yeah, I, to complain. Yeah, yeah, I um, I, I'll be honest, I I was moving to the CBS CBCS side. I, I really like the new case. I think yeah. that's a game. That was a game changer right there. Yeah. What I haven't submitted that? to CGC in three, three, four years. No. Not like I submit all the time, but past once right before they switched to the, they, they went away from the rivet label is when I started submitting mostly to CBCS. Yeah. I mean, turnaround time was huge for me. And then when you, CBCS comes out with a new case that is, it's comparable, you know, it, it's a, it's a great case compared to what they had. It's a, it's a damn, it's a light years better ahead of that flimsy crap. So yeah, I was heading that way anyway, but I mean, what, what, what do you guys think, Tony? What, what, what's your opinion on the whole deal, man? Um, the, the takeover for CGC, I think is going to be nothing but a positive, uh, in fact, I think I think the the backlog that CGC has had and the the bad press they've had, I I think it does benefit CBCS. If CBCS can be a little bit closer to CGC, it just helps everybody. Twice as many books can get graded at any point in time. It's you know the more people using CBCS, the the more the less books go to CGC. That like they're gonna build off of each other. Um, but having an actual company actual real investors get into cgc i mean you're talking the the processes and the the systems that they have in place are they have to be tightened up because those investors are going to want to maximize their dollars they're going to want to maximize their efficiencies they're not gonna if they walk into a, a warehouse and there's just boxes everywhere and oh yeah no we'll get to these yeah that that's not going to fly with an actual investment group so they're going to really tighten those screws, which will be good for the company. They're going to expand, hopefully in a, in a way that doesn't, you know, dilute their product. And, and we end up with more pubic hairs showing up. I, in, I think in one of the good things that, that is to come is what we don't have right now, that what some of these investors that took over might bring to that collector and that grading guarantee. Right. So, you know, it, they, they bought the parent companies, but 
we deal more with comics. So they had the paper money guarantee, the certified guarantee company, classic collectible services, you know, yeah. so there's cards involved in there, but I also wonder what else are they going to grade or, you know, you know, sneakers. Um, I don't know. I don't I think CDs is kind of old, but you know, stuff that we aren't even thinking of yeah. right now that they might bring that's a, you know, within that culture <laughs> and collectible and nostalgia that they're going to bring into that market. Yeah, I, yeah. They're going to grade NFTs. VHS? I think VHS. we're going to see some stupid prices on VHS tapes in the next two years. Yeah, like I things agree. that just make our mind explode from those blockbuster laser you know, discs, bankruptcy I mean, sales that they would have. Or yeah, it's yep. it's going to be nuts. Yep. I, I, the number that caught my eye the most was how much they valued CGC at. Did you see that? Five hundred million dollars. Five hundred million dollars is what they valued CGC at. Did they count all the books in the building at the time? <laughs> had to be. Had to be. I mean, that's that's insane though when you think about it to to value that company at that much. But is that just the the comic grading side or the whole umbrella company? It's got to be the whole. It's got to be the whole thing. Got to yeah. be the whole thing. Yeah. But still, e even at that, I mean, that's that's unreal. The only thing I think that is going to happen is uh, obviously we're going to see prices continue to go up. And I think Andy, uh, I think um, uh, Alberto, is that what you're we're, what we're calling him? So we don't mix up. The yeah, Alberto Hefe. Alberto Hefe. So Hefe, uh, I think it might have been you that was talking the other day about you know um, that we're going to see prices go up, but they've already gone up. They already went up, right? And uh, it was somebody talking about that. I can't remember. I apologize if it wasn't you, but no matter what prices are going to go up, but yeah. is the company going to be better? And more importantly, can we get some satellite branches? Can we get some places, a couple places we can send our books to, to get graded across the country? Um, I'm sure that would help their, their turnaround times. Right? Oh yeah. West, they need it. They need a West coast arm. They absolutely yeah. need a West coast arm. And don't put all our eggs in one basket. Yeah. Uh, I am still very mixed on this. I, will buy CBCS slabs because I feel like I can get better deals on those and CPR them over to CGC. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of, I've got a box load of CBCS books that I've gotten for steals, but I'm primarily a CGC collector. And I'll tell you why CBCS still has not fixed the number one problem that me and many, many other people in the collecting community have with CBCS. Their font is atrocious, and there's nothing to really make it stand out on the label. I literally just put that in the chat. Oh, <laughs> it's, 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 it's like I, 21 I, Tops baseball. I love their new it's cases. Terrible. I love their shield, their hollow shield that they have on there that looks great. But their font is, I just can't get over the font. And I, I look at a CGC case, and that grade number slams. Like, it's straight slaps. Da, da, da. Like, yeah, I know what's going on when I look at a CGC slab. CBCS slab, I look at it, and from a distance, I got a squint, and I was like, where's my reading glasses? I mean, what's going on here with this? And then when you look at, case in point, go look up Something is Killing the Children Number 1 CBCS 9.8. There's an entire giant string of very legible, like hard-to-read font all the way across the top. That's When they fix that, I'm going to be regularly sending books to CBCS because I, I, they fixed a lot of other stuff. You guys are right. I like their turn times. I like their signature verification process. But I think Blackstone acquiring CGC is nothing but good things. And we look at CGC versus CBCS versus, you know, these things. I think the collecting community has vastly, vastly under, not anticipated, but under there. We're all under thinking this. I think it's got nothing but growth for everybody. We've got nothing but room to grow constantly because the, the collecting community just continues to build and, and build and build and build and we're seeing the we're we're not we're not even riding ups and downs anymore we're riding up then we're riding another up then we're riding another up the last five years that i've been buying heavily for my personal collection has just been ups and ups and ups and eventually there might be a slight correction or whatever anybody else wants to call it but there's still going to be that massive memory that we talk about with individual books like price memory there's going to be market memory here that we're not giving enough credit to CGC and CBCS, they've got nothing but room to grow, in my opinion. I think Blackstone acquiring this is going to help out tremendously. And I think, dude, graded sneakers, you, you, oh, God. yeah, You know how many people out there that would kill to do graded sneakers or some of the other things? 
How would you submit that Lego Adidas sneaker? Is it a sneaker or is it a toy? <laughs> Have you seen that now? They got the Lego Adidas shoes. No, really? He's looking at me like I'm making it up. I'm not really. It up. Hold on, I'm looking these up right now. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I just don't care. <laughs> gotta look at these things. Oh wow! Yeah, can you wear them? <laughs> no, they're just like, and you can build it. They have directions where you can build it. Uh, it's left sneaker, or right sneaker, so they get you buying two. <laughs> <laughs> God, and this is so I'm, funny. I'm of a different you live, opinion. You live over by the cutting edge of trend. In the, on the west coast there dan what's the what's the next oh. thing that's going to get graded what should we be buying well, at flea markets i'm in new york actually i'm a new yorker he's on the west coast of new york <laughs> oh <laughs> i'm sorry that's cool um but i actually think so for for one i believe a cbcs 98 is better than a ctc 98 first of all like i think they're a little stricter on grading so like i actually have more faith in their grades because cgc's been wildly inconsistent and there's been a lot of reports about that and their quality control is outrageous right and i know you guys think or some whatever right people think it's a good thing or whatever but um i think we're underestimating how bad acquisitions can get too because they yeah. could be looking at because i'm actually thinking what they're looking at is we want to be the grading company that grades sneakers right and they're going to focus on sneakers more than comics because there's much more sneaker heads, there's much more Funko heads, way more other heads than comic heads, right? And we're going to be left in the dust because they're going to make way more money off these other groups because they're all about the money, right? Let's get real, right? It's not about their love of the comics. And I don't know if Jay-Z actually has anything to do with this because I know everyone's using Jay-Z's name. I know he's like the company and all that, but I don't know if Jay-Z was like, I want a, I want comic book grading. You know? He's just the name that made the, the headline yeah, yeah. stick out. Yeah, so everyone's bringing him up, but... um. I feel like CGC is going to go like MySpace, honestly, in my opinion. I think, like, they were the player. They were Kleenex. Um, but Coke bought vitamin water, and then it went down. The, and then just they lost all its valuation. They bought it for $4 billion, just like Disney bought Star Wars for $4 billion. And what did Disney do to Star Wars? You know what I mean? Like, like we, we, we're, you know, we want it to be positive because we have all these valuables – slabs and all that like yeah we have a bias to hope that it's going to be great but when i think about business and what these kind of companies really do and they're looking at oh they own all the they are the market leader of the blah 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 and and they want to like in my opinion i think they're going to want to expand focus on sneakers more than comics other things more than comics because there's gonna be more money there and we're gonna be left in the dust and cbcs seems to really care about a little more about quality control, at least from what I'm hearing from a lot of people. What are you grading? Well, it's an amazing fantasy number. Five. I don't care. There's some Jordans. Grade these. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's. I, I think that's what's coming. I, I think we're being optimistic. But um, That is an interesting take. I will yeah. say that. Makes you think. I, I want to see what happens when CBCS's numbers start to get pumped up and where their control, quality control is at when they reach CGC's numbers. Free grader notes on everything. QR code, so everyone has for, access for now. to free graders notes. For now. And yeah, but they didn't have to be – why wasn't – you know, they didn't have to be asked or, like, yelled at to C do that. They CGC did. had free stuff back in the day, too. You want to know what CBCS can do right now that can really give them a, a you know, a fast start in this, you know, jump to – that get better in CGC right now, they can start grading at cons because I know CGC Ooh. is not going to be doing that. CBCS starts showing up at these cons and starts grading at the cons. That's that will help them immensely. CGC yeah. is not going to do cons anymore. Well, they haven't announced that they're doing it anymore. Yeah. They, okay. they they haven't announced Baltimore. They're usually always at Baltimore, right? Yeah. Um, so I think comic yeah. collecting. Well, we at Baltimore, and it's always our buddies are like first in line to submit, or like waiting to catch flights, and they're like, "Oh, my books are ready." Yep. In the past, yep. I've heard that is hasn't CGC demanded that CBCS not be invited? I've heard of that where CBCS will show up at the Con City, but they're actually in a hotel like across yeah. the street. CGC won't <laughs> allow them in the building. Yeah, it hey. also makes you wonder with Blackstone, with Jay Z, some of these other names what other maybe CGC exclusive talent they might bring to that brand rather than, you know, 
I don't know if like like dance. I don't know if it'll be comic related, but I don't think I, I think we're gonna get left in the because we are not we are not the biggest collectors out there. Like, and there's there's more money to be had in sn- sneakers, frankly, hats, shirt, like all that other stuff. And yeah, I I think per item those and those faster, bigger, bigger items. Cheaper. But are there any sneakers that have a print run of four hundred thousand copies? You know, I, they're they're very. It's a big market and they're big dollar, you know, it's, there are big dollar transactions going on, but to have in our hobby, how many books have higher than a 30,000 print run every single month? Hmm. I mean, it's, it's significant. It's, but it's not book publishing, but it's significant. But if you're a business person, right? Check in a shoe to grade it. It's like, takes like two seconds, right? <laughs> Great. <laughs> per period of time, you're going to make more money than these comics. And those comics, they're not making those that money, that resale money. They're just doing they're just doing the service, right? And it takes Ooh. forever. It costs yeah. this much. A sneaker, bam, bam, bam. Oh, and you can do a million of those. They don't care about. Us. I mean, business people don't care about us. So, like, yeah, I mean, think about speaking. think about what Lewis has to say here about the Funko Pop. Don't be naive. Sort of yeah, don't be naive. I mean. Look at as technology continues to expand and certain apps allow the convenience that they are to move pops. I was watching one app where just I'm seeing Funko Pops go for hundreds of dollars ungraded. Think about what those would go graded. I mean, wow, that's actually a scary thing to think about, too. Doesn't AFA grade Funko Pops? Do they? I think so. It's just, but it, if they don't, but the ridiculous. fact that we're asking that question, that you know, if they can yeah. mainstream it, then people are like, oh yeah, that place grades them. And I think Somebody CGC wants them. to be that company, though. They're they're trying to be that. Com- I think Blackstone is going to push them. T- I mean, this is all speculation, of course, yeah, but right. I think that that's what they're going to do. A company like Blackstone is going to push them to be the how leader about, of all grading. How about this, uh, as quote unquote devil's advocate or whatever, what however you want to put it? Um, is this is this good to know? Um, is this a good thing? Because now we're seeing that people who have big money to invest want to invest it in our hobby. Is that? Yeah. A, I mean, collectible that's even... market, man. You just can't hide from it right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's not a collectible market anymore. It's alternate investment. Yeah. Yeah. And think of think about the. I said Joe Montana. It's a different. Think about the cross platform aspects of so and so has this pop collection that they have and then they just decide well hey i want matching cgc comics of these pop characters as well and then oh, you yeah. start matching collections bringing cross collectors into comic books well that's where i feel like this has some avenues uh, of growth that we might not even necessarily be looking or thinking about just yet but i like what i like what everybody else is bringing to the table on this because there's a lot of questions that need to be answered in but, the end, we're just we're at we're at their mercy though. I mean, we we don't, you know, we want our stuff graded. We're gonna send it in. We might get to choose whether it's CBCS or CGC. But if if as a seller, if I'm gonna maximize my return on investment from a lot of books, I'm gonna be selling them. And Brian's right there. I think there still is a premium on CGC. It really depends on the book though. If there's only, you know, say if you're selling on eBay, if there's only three copies, you could, if you have a CBCS copy, you could, you could match the price of this, the CGC sellers. You're just going to be the third one to sell. You know what I mean? For now. But if there's 80 copies, that's a difference. Yeah, for now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the funny thing to me on all this is if you guys remember when CGC first came out the gate, they were like, everybody was saying, I mean, not CGC, CBCS. When CBCS first came out the gate, everybody was saying they're be- they're a better company. They have better grader stand- grading standards. Uh, we all need to start sending the CBCS. So they hit that plastic supply issue. And they dropped the ball. Like yeah. the, they're the reason. So it's it's their own fault. We have to see something from them that is extra to get them over that hump. And I, yeah, haven't, I still seen- haven't seen that. Um, what Beckett brought in addition to what CBCS already had. Mm, yep. When Beckett bought C- CBCS. And the guy that runs CBCS, he said if enough people Steve. ask him to change the label, he'll do it. You know, he said that on, on, yeah, on Steve a, Barack. Yeah. So I'm like, have you not heard enough people say they want to change a label? Like, yeah. change the label, man. I'm like, come on. <laughs> I know. 
I know I got a box packed up and it's going to CGC and I, I cannot wait. I'm excited. Are you uh expensing? Are you doing the uh, express? I'm doing the fast track at least. I mean, it's kind of one of those things where I sat on some books from 2019 out of right off the shelf and read them and put them right away. And I mean, you're talking Canto and something is killing the children books that the ROI is so good right now that I might as well, I could potentially express them through and still maybe let go of one to cover the cost of the grading for the rest of them. Yeah. I mean, you look at what's happening with PSA in the card industry. I mean, they literally just opened up uh, again, their express lane again. Uh, $200 a card is the only service I think they're offering right now. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Wow. Insane. Yeah. yeah. Insane. And here's the thing. I've got 10 cards that I can send in right now that I'd be willing to do it. You know what I mean? Because the return on investment is so high. You can send in a card that is worth $1,500 raw and you come, it comes back a high grade and you're tripling your money. You know, that's, that's a lot of money. Yeah. Brian, Brian one and two, I know both of you are, are big into cards. I don't know, uh, Andy, Dan, Andy, if, if you guys are, but that's a good question. Cause I know PSA was the king of the mountain for a long time, but haven't there been other contenders that have built up and, and basically equalized that value? I mean, they didn't have a great. They tried. Yeah. They, they tried. Probably still, but they still trail. For for okay. a little bit of time, Beckett was above. Like you, people wanted a Beckett ten better than a PSA ten because they they same thing back in the day with CBCS where you held CBCS to a great. Like Dan, as you were saying, a CBCS nine point eight. Even the, today, with with um, experienced collectors, you hand somebody a CBCS 9.8, CGC 9.8, and if they're taking it for their PC, they're taking the CBCS book because they 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 have a better idea, they have a better feeling that the grading is better on that one, right? If they're selling it, it's uh, opposite. But if it's for them, they're going to take the CBCS book because nine out of ten times it's held to a higher grading standard. Um, that happened with cards and BGS or Beck grading services for a short period of time was, was wanted more than a PSA 10, a Beckett grading 10. Still to this day, if you can get an, they call it, I think a black uh, yeah, label black. where it's all tens, all subgrades on the tens gets you a black label 10. That is the most wanted grading of any card. So, um, but the funny thing is, on average, a PSA 10 is going to sell more than a BGS 10. So unless it's a black label. I kind of, it's like that CGC, not to carry this on longer, but I, I, I kind of like the Beckett label better than the PSA label. though. I do too. Other than I, I, like the, I like the Beckett black label and I like the information it gives you, but the PSA case is better. It's not as thick. Yeah. You know, it's not as, it's kind of bulky 